It's blackjack with a brain. It's a game of 21. It's a contest of quick thinking. And today's jackpot bonus game is worth $10,000. This is Gambit. And now, here's the star of Gambit, Bob Eubank. Thank you. Hey, guys, how are you? Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gambit. We're glad you could join us today. Before we start our game, I want you to say hi to my partner here on Gambit. She's our very lovely dealer, and here she is, Susie Fawcett. Hi, Susie. Hi, Bob. You look very pretty today. Thank you. Ready to play the game? Sure am. All right, then let's get going. We're going to meet our two contestants right now. First of all, our returning champion has won $5,200. Yeah. The reason she has such a big smile, her name is Carla Wright. Hello, Carla. Hi, Bob. You did great last time. Thank you. I feel great. A little over $5,000. Yeah. I want you to meet your challenger now. He's here for the first time. Mm -hmm. He says he likes tall Italian women. His name is Tony Ritano. Hello, Tom. Hi, Bob. Why are you so... Uh, Partial to tall Italian women, Tony. Oh, gosh, it makes it so much easier when you bring them home to mom. <laughs> oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. You know how to play this game? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, let me remind everybody here on Gamma that each game is worth $100. The object of the game is to get as close to 21 as you can without going over. Get 21 on the nose, you not only automatically win the game in $100, but you also win our 21 jackpot <laughs> worth $1,000. Woo! I remember We'll play a two out of three match. The game is played on our Gambit screen, and each time we go to it, you'll see two items, like these two items. Here they are, sleepy and bashful. I will then read a statement. Members of the seven dwarfs who had hair on their heads. Now, you decide quickly whether that statement applies to one of the items on the screen, both, or neither. As soon as you think you know, then hit your lockout, because control is really what you're looking for. So if you saw a sleepy and bashful up there, and I said members of the seven dwarfs who had hair on their heads, what would you say? Well, the correct answer would be both of them. True. Dopey was the only bald dwarf, but there's a rumor that he's getting transplants. Anyway, that's the way we do it. Now, we're going to play this game with a standard deck of 52 cards. The deck has been shuffled, cut, and sealed. And Susie, I'm going to ask you to break that seal right now. Place the cards in the card holder, and remember, we will show our contestants the first card, and only the first card, at the beginning of each game. So, Susie, what's the card we're playing for in game number one? Yeah! yeah. It's a queen! Good card! Hands on your lockouts, and we're off and running, gang. Let's take a look at the gamut screen, because here come the first two items in game number one. They are Harry S. Truman, Doug MacArthur, Twin Peaks character. Tony's in. Is it one, both, or neither, Tony? Bob, it's Harry S. Truman. It certainly is. Yes, one of them. And that means you have the control, Tony. You want the queen, you want to pass it on to Carla. Oh, yeah, I definitely want the queen. Then you get the queen, my friend, and you're off to a good start. You got ten on the board. <laughs> Let's play again. On okay. our gamma screen, the next two items. Gallstone, ham hock. Good luck symbols in Ireland. Tony, what do you think? Uh, I think it's neither, Bob. I think you're right, okay. yes. <laughs> I can't see anybody wearing a gallstone on their lapel, do you, Tony? <laughs> All right, you've got a 10, my friend. You want to take the card? You want to pass it on to Carla? Uh, no, I think I'll take, I'll take the card, Bob. He's going to take the card because he knows if an ace comes up, he wins $1,000. Wouldn't that be nice? Deuce! Okay, it's not bad. you got 12 now. You have an option at this point, Tony. You can freeze on the 12, or you can play on. What do you want to do? No, I'll play on, Bob. I'll play on. I think it's a good idea. Carla says, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Sounds All right, here we go again, contestants. Hands on your lockouts. So take a look at these two. Lucille Ball, George Washington, natural redhead. <laughs> Carla got in. Is it one, both, or neither, Carla? Bob, I'm going to go with one. Lucille Ball. Oh, both of them. <laughs> both of them. George Washington was a redhead. That's before yeah. he turned gray. He was a natural redhead. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Tony, you have the control. You have 12. You can take the card, or you can pass the card. Oh, God. You know, you gonna pass the card? Yeah. He's working off intuition here. He's gonna pass the card, and that card is a nine. Tony, had you kept that card, you would have had 21. You would have won $1,000 in the game. Well, but, yeah, Carla says. <laughs> Let's play again. On the gambit screen, two more items. Here they come. Brazier, Limoges. Cities in France. Carla's in. Bob, I think it's Limoges. I think you're right, Carla. Yes. It certainly is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I see you find the fine portion. Yes. Carla, he has 12. Mm -hmm. You have 9. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. What's your choice? Take the I'm car. I'm going to take that car. She wants the car. Definitely. Looking for a face card to give her my team. She has a six. Fifteen, Carl. Fifteen. Here again, you have the option to freeze if you want to. He has twelve. I'm going to freeze, Bob. Freeze? I'm okay. Freeze. Yeah. Might be good strategy. So Carla now freezes at 15, Tony has 12. Tony, you now are in sudden death, my friend. You must play on to beat that 15. You need 16 or above without going over 21. A tie is not good enough. And remember, you must be correct to continue. If you miss, you lose. So I'm now holding your catch-up cards. Here we go. On the screen, Statue of Liberty, Great Wall of China, man-made objects that can be seen from the moon. Oh, gosh. I'm going to say it's just the Great Wall of China, Bob. You're right, Tony. It is just the Great Wall of China. You're still in the game. Now, here's the situation. Here's the situation. Anything above a nine, you go over 21, and Carla wins the game. You have to beat 15. Let's see if you can do it. Face this is card. for the game, oh, and the card, card is... Oh. An eight. Tony, that gives you 20. I can only give you a little advice, my friend. The other day when she was on Gambit, when she lost the first game, she got mean, so be careful. You win game number one. That means, Carla, you have to win the next game to stay in the match. We'll set up for game number two, and we'll be back. One of our players today will have a chance at $10,000. Now, Gambit bonus jackpot. We'll be right back for that. But our challenger won the first game. Tony has $100, but most importantly, if he wins this game, he becomes our new champion. Carly, you going to let that happen? No. I didn't think you were. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I told you, you got to watch out for it. Yes. Now, <laughs> All right, we're going to set up now for game number two. Ready to play. As you know, we always reveal the first card, and only the first card at the top of every game. So Susie has the card you'll be playing for as we begin game number two, and that card is a king. Good card. Oh, yeah. I would love to see somebody hit 21 on the nose. If you do that, you win $1,000. Hands on your lockouts, and here we go. On the Gambit screen, you'll find two items. Spumoni olives. Favorite foods of Popeye. Carla got in. Bob, I think it's neither. Yes, you're right about that. <laughs> Certainly. Because yeah. Popeye loves two things. Popeye, two things. Spinach. And olive, olive oil. oil. Yeah. yeah. That's sweet. Okay, Carla, you want the card? You want to pass it on to Tony? Mama, baby. Come to Mama. Yeah. King is on the yeah. side of the board. Once again, take a look at our gambit screen because up there we find George Burns, Bob Hope, born in the 19th century. Tony, is it one, both, or neither? I think it's both, Bob. Incorrect. No, only George Burns. He was born in 1896. Bob Hope was born in 1903. Oh. That means the control goes over to Carla again. And Carla with the king. What the card? I'm going to take that card. I'm going to take that If an ace should happen to come up, she would win $1,000. The card is seven. Seventeen, Carla. Seventeen. Now, you know your choices. You can freeze right here or you can play on. What will it be? Um, Bob, I think I'm going to freeze. Yeah, good I'm idea. Gonna I'm going to freeze. Uh, Tony, the lady's going to freeze on 17. You, Tony, are now in sudden death. You have to beat 17 in order to win this game without going over 21. A tie will do you no good at all. You must be correct to continue. If you miss, you lose. These are your catch-up questions, Tony. Good luck, and here we go. Majorette, Sergeant Superior, military ranks in the Women's Army Corps. I think it's both, Bob. No, it's neither. That means that, Carla, you win the game. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, now you can see what's happening now. Tony won the first game, Carla won the second game. It's a two out of three match. First player to win two games goes on to try to beat the house for $10,000, which means we must now play a tiebreaker. And as we do at the top of every tiebreaker, we reveal one card for each one of our contestants. Carla, you have the option. You're the champion. So you want the first card? You want to pass it on to Tony? My instinct tells me to pass the card to Tony. to pass the card to Tony. Let's see if your instincts are right, because that card is a deuce. I knew it. Tony gets the deuce. That means that Carla gets the next card. And Carla, your card is seven. 
Tony has two. Carla has seven. On the gamut screen, these two items. Adidas. Nike. Greek God. Tony. Nike. It's only one Nike, Bob. Certainly is. Only one of them. <laughs> there are two sneakers and only one God. Tony, you have a deuce. She has a seven. You want to take the card or what do you think? Oh, I, I think I have to take you the card. You want the card. He says he has to take it and the card is Queen. All right. Got a 12. You can freeze on the 12 if you want to. No, I'm going to play on, Bob. He's going to play on. All right. All right, then let's play on right Go now. Forward. Tony with a 12, Carla with a seven. Two items on the screen. They are Jane Curtin, Roseanne Barr, actresses over 40. Carla's in. Is it one, Bob, neither, or both? I think it is is Roseanne Barr. Incorrect. I'm sorry. It's Jane Curtin. You were right about one, but the wrong one. Oh, okay. Roseanne Barr is not 40 yet. Looks 40, but not 40 yet. <laughs> I didn't say that. Tony, you now have the control. You have 12. She has 7. Pass it or keep the card. I want that card, Bob. All right. Tony says he wants the card. Anything over a 9 and he goes over 21, Carla wins the game and the match. Let's see what happens. The card is... You're still in, Tony. Now, 17. Freeze here? Yeah, I think I'll freeze, Bob. Okay. Tony will now freeze on the 17. Carla, same situation for you, now in sudden death. You have to okay. beat 17. A tie will do you no good at all. Okay. Remember, you have to be correct to continue. Miss, you lose. Okay. And he wins the championship and a chance to play for $10,000. Here we go. On the gambit screen. The dwarfs were undressed. A poisoned apple. Why, Snow White collapsed into unconsciousness. <laughs> Because of a poisoned apple, Bob. You're right, a poisoned apple. <laughs> it's frozen on 17. You have to beat 17. Let's see if you can do it. Okay. Card coming up for you is a jack. And now you have 17, which means that you have to play on, Carla. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Come on. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, this is going to be tough. Let's we'll see if you can do it. On the screen, two items. Water, milk. Things a mother should drink more of when breastfeeding. We need water. Yes, you Everyone do need water. water. You're right yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not be silly. You yeah. do need water. <laughs> okay, here's the situation. He's frozen on 17. You have to get anything over a 17 without going broke, which means that you need no higher than a 4. Okay. Ready? Here comes the card. The card is... Tony, you end up with $100. We have nice prizes for you. Thank you very much Thank for playing our game. And lucky, oh, you are. <laughs> In just a moment, we're going to give you a chance to win $10,000 for the prize to beat the house right after this over with. You won two yes. games. That was hundred dollars a game. That's two hundred dollars. Then you hit twenty-one right on the nose. Mm -hmm. That give you a twenty-one jackpot of another thousand dollars. So so far today you won twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> well, we're just getting started now because Carla, in less than two minutes from right now, you are going to have a chance to pick up ten thousand dollars as you try to beat the house. Now, here's the way it works. You have five chances to earn cards, building the best blackjack hand you can. When you're finished, the house will be then dealt its hand. If what you have beats the house, you win $5,000. However, if you get 21 on the nose, it's an automatic win of $10,000. Yes, 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 yes. Now, let's take a look at our bonus screen up there. You notice the degree of difficulty is a level higher. We're now showing you three items instead of two. You tell me if it's one, two, three, or none of those. Well, good luck to you, and here we go. Remember, you have five chances. On the screen, Jane Pollock, Connie Chung, Maria Shriver, News ladies who are mommies. Ooh, I think it's Jane, Polly, and Maria Shriver. You're right about that. It is. <laughs> Connie is still trying, but she's not a mommy yet. Okay, that means we get to take a look at your first card, and the card is a 10. Yes. Good card. Good card. Let's go again. On our bonus screen, three items. Manicotti, 
Zamboni, moussaka, dishes found in an Italian restaurant. Oh, yeah, Bob. It's Manicone. It's one, Manicone. Yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> you out of 10? Should an ace happen to come up, you would win $10,000. Your card is a deuce. Okay. Got a work cut out for us, don't we? You now have 12. Now, you can freeze if you want to, or you can play on. So what do you want to do? Bob, I'm going to play on. Got to play, play on. All right. Yeah. Good luck to you. Here again on the bonus screen, Bathsheba, Jezebel, Delilah. Naughty ladies of the Bible. Ooh. Bob, I think it's all three of them. You're right. It is. All yeah. three of them. Yes. Yeah. Good for you. Pays to read the book, doesn't it? You have 12. Now, naturally, a face card would give you 22. Yes. That means you would be out. Okay. So what we're really looking for is anything nine or below. Okay. Good luck to you. you Here we go. Card. She has 12. It's the next card, card is seven. <laughs> yes. All right, Carla, you're on 19. Yeah. You have the option to freeze if you want to. Well, I'm going to freeze. I knew you'd I'm say that. Freeze. The lady's going to freeze on 19. Yes, and let's freeze. see if the house can break and you'll win the money. Good We're trying to, to win now $5,000. And let's begin now. Remember, let me remind you that Susie, our dealer, has to hit 16 or below. She <laughs> must freeze on 17. If it's a tie, you win okay. the tie. Okay. The house has okay. to beat 19. Okay. All right, Susie, let's deal the first hand for the card. There's a nine. Trying to beat 19. Remember the tie will do you good. 15. The house now has 15. Okay. The house has 15. 16 the house has. The house now has 16. Next card up for you. Be a big card. It is! Yeah. $11,400. And most importantly of all, too, you're still our champion. That means that you're going to meet a new challenger once again. If you win two more games, you'll have another chance at our $10,000 bonus. We'll be back with more gambling right after this. Go the way. Lots of excitement around here today. Our champion has done it again. She beat the house for another five grand. She's sitting at eleven thousand four hundred dollars. Yes, yes, yes. And Carla, it's time now to meet a new challenger. So let's get him in here right now. Jim Podaisky, welcome to Gamble. Hello, Jim. Hi, Bob. Where are you from originally, Jim? Alliance, Nebraska. Alliance, Nebraska. <laughs> farm family? Big family? Uh, not a farm family, but a big family yeah, of 10. Family of 10. 10 <laughs> kids. Wow. Well, it's nice to have you here on Gambit. Well, it's great to be here. It's a good place to win some money. Let's see if you can do that. Now, yeah, you know the rules of the game, I hope? Right. All right. Let me remind everybody, it's a two out of three match. The deck has been shuffled, cut, and sealed. So, Carla and Jim, the first card you're playing for in game number one is this card. It's a five. <laughs> if you're ready... Hands on your lockouts, and here we go to our Gambit screen where you'll find these two items. Sherlock Holmes, Mickey Spillane, famous fictional detective. Jim got in. Jim, is it one, both, or neither? It's just one of them, Bob. Sherlock Holmes. You're right, it is. Just Sherlock Holmes. Mickey Spillane is an author. Of course, his hero is Mike Hanley. All right, Jim, you have the choice. You can take that five. You can pass it on to you later. I'd like to pass it to Carla. Then the five goes to Carla. She'll take it. Yeah, it's all right with her. On the Gambit screen, we have two more items. Here they are. Easter, Election Day, National Holidays. Carla got in. Carla? Bob, I think it's neither of them. You're right. You're right. I, I thought, sure, that Easter was a national holiday, but it's not. Good for you. Okay. Next card can be yours, or you can pass it on to Jim. I'm going to take it. I'm you can take, take the card? It. Take Let's it. see if you made the take right it. choice. She has a five. She now has a six to go with it. Yes. Hey. Oh. Looking good. Yeah, looking good is right. <laughs> You know what happened on the last game? She hit 21 right on the nose yeah, I know. for $1,000. <laughs> that $1,000 is back in that jackpot. So if a face card should happen to come up and you hit 21, you do it all over it again, again, kid. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Ready? On the gamut Ready. screen. More devoted, loss of appetite. Things that result from having your dog fixed. <laughs> Jim, what do you say? I think it's just one. More devoted? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, and uh, ladies don't get any ideas. <laughs> I got a beat her, All right, Jim, you want the card? The Absolutely. card is yes. nine. Yes, good card for you. Okay. 
Jim has nine. Carla has 11, and I have two more items for you to take a look at. Here they come. Don Juan, Casanova, fictional great lovers. Carla's in. Carla? Bob, I think it's both of them. No, no, no. Oh. Only Don Juan, Casanova really existed. Ooh. Yeah. Jim, you have okay. control. All right. Now, I want Jim, that card. She has 11. Yeah, sure. You have nine. Yeah. You can take the card. I want the card. Let's see what the card is. The card is deuce. Now, look what you got. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is when it gets fun. Both players out of 11. Both of you have 11. If a face card should happen to come up, somebody is going to win $1,000 in our 21 jackpot. Okay, here we go. Two more items. Sir Lancelot. Sir Guinevere. Knights of the Round Table. Carla's in. Bob, I think it's both of them. Incorrect. I'm sorry. Just Sir Lancelot. Guinevere was a girl. Yes. If you peeked under the armor, you would have found that out. <laughs> Jim, All you right. can get the card if you want it, or you can give it to Carla. I, I want it, Bob. I want that card. I guess Remember, okay, yeah. if a 10 or a face card comes up, yes. you not only win the game, but you win $1,000. Card coming in. Eight. All right. Jim, that gives you 19. You can freeze. Absolutely freeze, Bob. You can freeze? All right. Yeah. Jim is frozen on 19. Carla, okay. sudden death time for you. You know, you have to beat 19 in order to win this game. A tie will do you no good at all. You must be correct to continue. If you miss, you lose. Okay. These are your catch-up questions. Okay. Good luck. Lohenbra, Heineken, German beers. Bob, I think it's both of them. No, oh. I'm sorry. It's neither of them. Oh. That means that Jim wins game number one and $100. Okay. Heineken is from Holland. Lohenbrau is from America. Neither German beers. Okay. That means that our challenger wins game number one. And that sound you just heard, that's time's up, which means that we have to go for today. We'll pick it up tomorrow where we're leaving off right now with Jim winning the first game. Carla, you know you have to win the next game. And tomorrow again, we'll be playing for $10,000. So I'm Bob Eubanks. For Susie Foster saying that if you play your cards right, well, you'll always be a winner. Bye-bye, everybody. Gambit is a Merrill Heater production in association with Orion Television Entertainment.